Flagmaker and Print is a team of world builders, programmers, and flag enthusiasts on the quest of becoming the vexillologist's choice. If you're watching this video, maybe you are thinking of designing your own custom flag, or perhaps you've already ordered and are looking to learn more about the process of how they're made. In this video, I go over the making of our custom flags and the history behind the app. I also talk about shipping times, our not happy money back guarantee, and other useful information when ordering. Welcome to Flagmaker and Print. Hi, I'm Vincent Tenil, founder of Flagmaker and Print and one of the designers behind the app. I am a graphic designer with a passion for world building and vexillography, the art of designing your own country flags. Flagmaker and Print originated as a project from our alt history community. Originally, FMP was a side project for my YouTube channel called Kaiser Cat Cinema. To fund our original stories on KCC, we began selling fictional country flags from various countries in the timeline. These flags complemented my original art prints and posters that I designed for this universe. Very soon, however, I noticed that a lot of users began asking for a way to not just buy my own designs, but upload designs from their own world-building projects or share those with friends. At the time, I had a thriving graphic design business and didn't have much time to think about the project. That was, of course, until 2019 happened. Good evening. The city at the heart of a public health crisis in China is shutting its public transport network to try to prevent the spread of a virus that's already infected hundreds of people. Covid happened and I suddenly found myself, like many others, with a lot of extra free time. While I did a lot of unrelated things, took up walking, played a lot of online D&D, I also found time to look back into the idea of having a flag making app. I went to look online and was surprised at the lack of options for printing your own country flags. Many existing custom flag printing services focused on communities and organizations, but had no built-in system for designing your own flags. As an adept of Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator, I know that what we really needed was an integrated flag designer, which could handle existing flag files from online sources like Wikipedia. This would allow anyone to design their own flag or use a built-in printing system to have it printed and sent to them. The idea for Flagmaker and Print was born. While I am a trained graphic designer, I couldn't code if my life depended on it. The first problem I faced then was who would program this app I had in mind. I began setting up an early design of the software in 2019, but had nobody to code it. Luckily, my time spent as a concept artist in game development meant I had some great friends to call. The first stages of the app were developed by Puny Human, a game dev company in North Carolina. Afterwards supported by our lead developer, Flamel. Later, the team was also joined by the great programmers at App Nexus in India. We spent much of 2020 in an internal alpha, released only to a limited audience. This allowed us to hammer out the initial bugs and get a stable release ready. The Flagmaker app, in essence, combines an online image editing software with a print-on-demand fulfillment system. This means Flagmaker and Print submits your design to printing by automatically forwarding the print file to the most fitting printing company. Right now, we are partnered worldwide with Printful and Yantai Max Exhibition Co. for our various flag products. Once your flag is done designing and you select the type of flag you want to buy, our fulfillment partners take over the process. But how are custom flags really made? In order to find that out, I had to take a little trip to the closest factory our partners had. In my case, the Baltic states of Estonia, Lithuania and Latvia. Today, we are at the Printful printing facility in Riga, capital city of Latvia. Printful is Flagmaker and Print's main fulfillment partner. Fulfillment companies such as these create original products, not just for the Flagmaker and Print webshop, but also for hundreds and even thousands of other webshops all over the world. 
This is only one of many such facilities spread across Europe, North America and as far as Australia, ensuring that your flag is printed locally and that you enjoy fast shipping. Perhaps you're on the fence about designing and printing your own Altis Reef flag, or maybe you would like to learn more about the process. In both cases, I came to Riga today to learn more about how it's made. Our custom flags are available both as one-sided wall flags and double-sided outdoor flags. All our flags are printed on white sheets of polyester through a technique called sublimation dye printing. In this technique, the flag is first printed on a big roll of transfer paper, as you can see here. At this stage in production, the flag looks like a very dull and colorless mirror image of its final self. This is because all the ink is now sucked into the transfer paper and is yet to be heat pressed. That transfer paper is then cut and processed through a heat press machine, which transfers the ink onto the flag fabric. Here you can see the final flag emerge from the heat transfer machine. This white sheet is then laid onto a cutting table where it is cut by blindingly fast machine cutters. Then the flag is tagged in and prepared for the final step, sewing. The sewing team takes the single sheet of fabric and sews the sides of the flag. The hoist and edges are folded over, creating what is known as a double fold hem that will ensure the flag can stand up to being handled and waved around. Without these strengthened edges, the flags would quickly unravel as the edges of the polyester wires would be exposed. This added padding on the edges of the flag explains why the app highlights a so-called bleed area. These sections of your design are cut off from the final flag as they are used in these folded edges. As a general rule of thumb, it's best to extend the background of your flag into this red area, but keep all important emblems within the dotted line, what we call the safe area. Finally, grommets are added to the flag by violently punching them through the fabric using this epic jackhammer device. Better not put your fingers in there. The final flag is folded, packaged and prepared to be shipped to its lucky new owner. Possibly you. Shipping generally takes 2-3 to three weeks from the date of ordering inside of the US. It may be longer during a peak season like Thanksgiving, Christmas or even the Super Bowl. Because each flag is custom printed for your order, I cannot offer any returns. Your flag was made only for you and as you can see there is no stock of them. However, I do offer a generous, not happy money back guarantee. This means that within reason, if you are in any way unhappy with the printing quality of your flag, you are free to ask for a refund by reaching out to me via email. Flagmaker and Print is not just about printing flags, of course. We want to give people the tools to easily create their own world building and flags. In that vein, I've also launched a partner program. This allows people to sell their own flag designs on Flymaker and Print and receive half of all the profits from their designs. Our platform takes care of all the customer support, handling and printing, allowing partners to focus on their world building or community efforts. If you're interested in partnering with me, don't hesitate to reach out to me at vincent at flymaker-print.com. I hope you enjoyed this look at the development of Flymaker and Print and the process of printing your own custom flag. If you have any questions about your order, don't hesitate to send me an email and I will be sure to help you out. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all soon, Vexillographers. Vincent out.